Good day to you. We are going to be looking at the Texas Success Initiative sample questions. So we're going to be looking at math today. Let's go ahead and dive right in. And we'll begin with number one. So if 3t minus 7 equals 5t, then 6t equals. Okay, so what we need to do here is simplify this equation. Let's get all the t's together. So if we have 3t minus 7 equals 5t, we can subtract 3t from both sides. These will eliminate here, and we'll end up with negative 7 equals 2t. So if 2t equals negative 7, just rewriting what we already know, how can we figure out what 6t is? Well, 6t is just 3 times 2t. So we'll take this value, multiply it times 3, and then we'll do this times 3 as well. Whatever you do on one side of the equation, you have to do on the other. So this will give us 6t equals negative 21. So 6t is what we're looking for, negative 21. Our answer is C. Number 2. The variables x and y are directly proportional. So that means this is a direct variation. A direct variation looks like this. y equals kx. There's some constant number that you can multiply x by to get your y values. So this is the relationship between x and y. So what we're going to do is take this first set of values here. y, when, uh, y equals 2 when x equals 3. So I'm going to go in and plug in those numbers. So y is 2. We're looking for k, so we can use it for the second part of the problem x equals 3. So in order to solve for k, we have to divide by 3 on both sides as usual. So k equals 2 thirds. So this is not our answer, but we're going to use it to find the answer. The next step. <clears throat> so what is the value of y when x equals 9? So y equals k, which is 2 thirds times x, which is 9. I'm going to go ahead and put it 9 over 1. And then, as we've done before, we're going to reduce this. 9 over 3 can reduce to 3 over 1. So y equals 2 times 3 is 6. 1 times 1 is 1. So y equals 6. When x is 9, y is 6. So our answer is b. Number three, let's zoom out real quick. Okay. <clears throat> Number three. In the xy plane above, point C has coordinates 6, 9. So I'm going to go ahead and label that. 6, 9, which means this is 6. The x value is 6. The y value is 9 at this point. Which of the following is an equation of the line that contains points Z, or O and C? So if we need to find an equation, we need the slope. So to find the slope of this line, um, as a reminder, M is slope and it's Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So this point here is just 0, 0. So there's two ways I can do this. I can use the formula or I can look at the graph. Let's do both so that we can get familiar with it. First using the formula, m equals, so we'll call this point 1 and this point 2. So y2 is 9, y1 is 0, over x2 is 6, x1 is 0. So this equals 9 over 6 which if we divide by 3 and reduce this, we get 3 over 2. So there's the slope we're looking for. Now, just as a quick review, if we're look, doing it from the graph, we can just see how far we had to rise over run. So we have to rise 9, so m equals 9 over run 6. Oh, excuse me. So 9 over 6. And again, if we reduce this by dividing by 3, we get 3 over 2. So either way, you can use the graph if you're given one, or the two points using the slope formula. 
So now what we need to do is look for the line that contains this slope. So slope, um, reminder here too, this is in the format y equals mx plus b. This is slope intercept. So we're looking for the equation that has m in this position, it has 3 over 2. That's going to be point, our answer D. We have 3 over 2 right here. That's going to be our correct answer. Okay. Continuing on with number 4. Back in. There are 3x minus 2 trees planted in each row of a rectangular parcel of land. If there are a total of 24x minus 16 trees planted in the parcel, how many rows of trees are there in the parcel? So this is kind of a messy sounding problem, but it's really simple. Um, if we think about rows, um, we have a rectangular parcel of land, and we want to know how many rows of trees there are. So we need to take the total this amount and divide it by the number in each row. Then we can find out how many rows there are here. Okay, so division again, just a reminder, it's a fraction is a division problem. So we're dividing 24x minus 16 by 3x minus 2. So what we're going to do first is factor here. So 24x minus 16, what can we factor out of 24 and 16? What do they have in common? An 8. So we can divide out an 8 from 24x, that'll leave us with 3x. And dividing an 8 from minus 16 is going to leave us with minus 2. And now we can see how lovely we get to cancel. Sorry about that. Okay, so our answer is going to be 8 over 1. This cancels out to 1, which is just 8. So there's 8 rows of trees. So 8 of these rows times 3x minus 2 gives us an area of 24x minus 16, basically is the gist. So our answer is D, 8. Number 5. A group of 18 people ordered soup and sandwiches for lunch. Each person in the group had either one soup or one sandwich. Okay, so I'm going to call the number of sandwiches x. So this is number of sandwiches. And then 18 minus x is the number of soups because we know they got one or the other. So if there were, for example, if there were 10 sandwiches, then I can say 18 minus 10 will give me eight soups. So combined, they have to equal 18, and there's no repeats. Okay, so the sandwiches cost 775. So we can say 775 times x for sandwiches. The soups cost 450, so plus 450 times the number of soups, which is of course going to be the difference from 18 of the sandwiches makes a total of $113.50, I'm sorry. So now we have an equation, 775 for each sandwich, 450 for each soup, made a total of 113.50. So now we can distribute and solve for x and see how many sandwiches we we'll ordered, which is what we're looking for. So 775 x plus 450 times 18 is 81 minus 450x, and just as a reminder, if, we're, if you're wondering where I'm getting this, we have to distribute the 450 to both terms inside the parentheses. And then this equals 113.50. So now I'm going to combine my x's. 775 minus 450 equals 325x plus 81 equals 113.50. Continuing to solve for x, we need to get the x by itself. So we're going to subtract 81, subtract 81, 
11350 minus 81, I'm just going to continue down here, equals 3250. And then I still have my 325x over here. To find x, I need to divide by 325. So this will cancel out to 1. And I've got x equals 3250 divided by 325 equals 10. And looky there, x ended up being 10. So that's what we're looking for. How many sandwiches were ordered? 10, D. The question was asking how many soups. We'd say 18 minus 10 tells us how many soups. There would have been eight soups. Just as a side note for more, oops, for more understanding there. So x equals 10. OK, number six. This paper here. Actually, we'll stop there. Number six on the next video.